Donkey? Eagle versus Flanker. <clears throat> yeah, kind of a big article will, there. Will the debate ever, ever stop, right? <clears throat> All right. So Russia's Su-27 Flanker can it can, can probably beat the F-15 in a dog fight. I love the confidence in this one, man. Uh, yeah, so the the article is pretty, I mean, it's it's paper BFM, right? Put put all the stats down on paper. So yes, the flanker is a. And by the way, shameless plug: you can go to my channel and watch me fl- fight the flanker, not in an eagle. But I digress. Um, <laughs> no, it talks about basically how the flanker is a very formidable air, formidable airplane, right? It's the. I don't know. When I was growing up as a young Hornet guy, I always thought is like the, it was like the Russian air superior superiority fighter. So like their version of the <laughs> of the uh, F fifteen. Yeah, well, not everything the Russians deployed today is fancy or effective. Um, it's good enough, right? So, you know, I spent 10, 11 years studying flankers and fulcrums and never got to see any until I got out and I went overseas and I did actually get to see them up close, talk to the pilots, fight them, fly with them. And they have the limitations and they have their strengths just like Western uh, fighters do. So, and the article here talks about the flanker is very fast, very powerful, uh, and it's it's actually multi-role, which the eagle <clears throat> is not. I would argue that the eagle's kill ratio is kind of speaks for itself when when you're talking air to air. You know, they don't talk about BVR or dogfight, but uh, there both airplanes have been around for decades, and there's so many different variants of it. So the Su-27 is the older version. The F-15C, I would argue, is probably the older version of the Eagle now that they've been upgraded. But, you know, we've talked about it before, right, Mover? It it really depends on the pilot. And it might, well, I always used to say I'd rather be lucky than good any day, right? So if I come to the merge with a, with a flanker, um, I just, I'll take luck over skill any day. Now, you know, similar pilot, similar day. It's still anybody's ball game because they're both very capable fighters. What do you think, Mover? Uh, well, I mean, you've got the alpha of the flanker. True. And um, the Su-27 is not thrust vectoring. It does. It can pull high. Yeah, alpha, but, but it's, it's not got the high alpha, high alpha thing. You know, the Eagle Jet struggled against everything I've flown. So. Yep. True. Now. I would still probably prefer to be in an American aircraft unless what? someone's offering me to fly in a flanker right now, in which case you know, <laughs> look, look, I'm, I'm loyal to whoever lets me fly their airplane. That's what right. if you were in what? I mean, it didn't say, but what if you were in an EX Eagle? Oh, then dude, I take the EX all day. See long. that? That's what I'm saying. Right. So all you read long. this article all, and all day long. Yeah. Right. So the old Eagle had, didn't have the Gucci digital flight controls. Right, well, so. these articles are dumb because everybody thinks that everything's a dog fight because that's all they've ever seen is Top Gun. Yep. There goes the flight doc. He's gone. He's not even. I got to fix the blinds. <laughs> <laughs> this is like what T-Bear wandered I'm off. Blind. That time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, dude, I would say, um, I mean, American trained fighter pilot every day of the week. That's that's who I'm going to say, you know, but. Like you said, man, what are the what are the conditions? Well, are, well, Doc, when you were at the F-16 unit in uh, Italy, right? Yeah. yeah. Did they ever did they ever do any dissimilar fighting against uh, Russian built airplanes, flankers, MIGs? And I, I, I mean, I'm sure you listen to the guys talk about it. I mean, TDY, we did. Yeah, we'd go to we go to Bulgaria, we go to uh, Romania. We yeah. Right. Yeah, it's right. You win some, lose some. It kind of depends on, oh, the new guy, the old guy, the good guy, the not so good guy. Right. I don't know. The, I don't know the specifics of who won most time. I just assumed our guys did. <laughs> <laughs> they told the doc. <laughs> doc, like, who uh, won? I did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. You need a mental health. 10% true, right? 10% true. Yeah. 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 yeah I was you know, offensive until I hit the merge. <laughs> yeah. I was slightly less offensive. What do you mean? I was slightly less offensive, doc. Don't uh-huh. worry about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, did they ever, uh, so I assume there's a couple two seat F-16s. Oh yeah, we had uh, we had three in my squadron. And so they never they ne- I guess you never got to go for a ride in one during a fight, a dissimilar fight against anything Russian. Um, I'm trying to remember if I was actually. 
I think the, the, the flying when we were TDY is a little bit more challenging, I think, okay. just because there's, you're a lot more busy. I know I, um, I know I got to fly quite a bit when we did Arctic Thunder, which was a big kind of massive, um, multinational right. exercise up in Norway and Sweden. And I'm trying to think who we, I mean, we definitely engage with lots of different, um, aircraft. I can't think specifically about like the, uh, the MIGs or like the Seas. I'm just trying to think about that, but yeah. yeah. Um, Sorry, dude. <clears throat> I was going to say, Gonky, before you get the angry comments, I'm going to say it depends. <laughs> uh, the question that becomes to what, what, what's the loadout and what's the range? Oh, yeah. Like BVR, beyond visual range, is a different <laughs> right. thing than within visual range with high off bar sight weapons. Yeah. You know, are, are we shooting archers and 9X or pythons? Who's got what? If we're talking guns only, that's a totally different thing. So, that's what right. it, it's just, it's just going to depend. There's no set answer. And that is across the board on yeah. any given Sunday. It's going to depend. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. I, I, we, I mean, I get, I get questions like this all the time and it's, it's, you always say, well, it depends. And it always seems like a cop out, but you know, it's, I mean, it really does depend. I mean, I, the, the flanker for what it is, is an amazing airplane and the Eagle is an Dude. amazing airplane. I, I see if you say guns only, I see this two circle across across each other at the deck and it's whoever gets bored first. I think if They're it's just, two guns only, Flanker's got the advantage. You think so? Yeah, because the, the alpha and it's 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 got I'm a saying two circle. Game. Oh, like two you, circle. It, it, oh okay. yeah, yeah. If they if they force it two circle, mm -hmm. yeah. One circle, yeah. I, I, I think it's like a hornet. You know, I think yeah. it's a hornet with more thrust. Yeah. Dude, the, I mean, there's not the thing with the flanker too. It's actually, you know, the Eagle was designed really like late sixties, early seventies. And the flanker was more of a eighties. So there's about a 10 year, um, gap yeah. in time there. So, I mean, it, it is, I mean, even the Su 27 has, uh, a really good flight control system, which like we said earlier, the Eagle is, is, uh, uh, doesn't have like the the ex has a digital flight control system and, and the the original eagle i don't think uh has a full digital flight control so i don't think it has a flight digital flight control system at all much dude i think it's still gonna i think I it think, does dude <laughs> i think a, i don't know uh all right